All aboard! My name is Albert Perks and welcome to the King's Cross Theatre in King's Cross, London, N1. Right, I'll come out of this carriage. There we go. And I've never actually, in about 98 performances, I've never been inside the train. Uh, I finish fairly soon, about eight performances time, and they tell me that for the curtain call, I can go in the train itself. This is the carriage of the train. We'll see the engine a little bit further along there. Uh, the, 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 the steam train itself is 1886, so that's happy 140th birthday to the steam train. These carriages are well over 100 years old as well. Now, I was told reliably that the colour scheme for trains in those days, the favourite for carriages, is light custard and chocolate. So as you can see, this is a bit like a, a very light milky bird's custard uh, uh, livery and it's got chocolate at the base or a kind of maroon and that's the traditional colours there of uh, the train. Let's go a little bit further along uh, and we're meeting the wonderful old lady, she can hear me. Uh, you're not that old, 140 years old, 1886 and built in Nine Elms near Battersea in South London and uh, it's the London and South Western Railway. So we've got the number plates here, the L. S W R. We've got the uh, five six three. That's a registration number there, and all the uh, livery there. If we can just took a little bit of a peek in here. Again, this is new territory for me, even though I've been in the play for so long. Now it's a bit difficult to see. I don't know if the camera could perhaps come up this way and where all the coal is kept. Look at that. That's called the tender. That's where all the coal is shown. Let me follow my finger around here. And it's quite dark. You might just be able to make some out. But there's all the workings there, and it's the actual boiler where you, you put fuel is put in the coal. So I'll get off first. And the camera can follow me there. So um, basically, what happens is that uh, you are told that there are, uh, there's a real steam train arrives, which does. Uh, not for a while during the performance because there are certain representations of a train as in flashing lights, as smoke going along the line and then she, the old lady, actually turns up. So if you look at the sides of this theatre it's called In Traverse and Traverse means that it's a bit like uh, if you're watching Wimbledon without the ends. So in a tennis match it's from one side and the other side there. A bit like the House of Commons but their gags are better than ours. And this arena seats about a thousand people, that's 500 either side. Now I just wanted to tell everybody about Kids Week, which there's a deal if you're coming on with children and it's really, really financially well worthwhile. Uh, uh, we've had, what, it's a Wednesday afternoon on a sweltering hot day, we've had a thousand satisfied audience members. And it really is, I would say, looking at the website, it's the best deal that's going on for any West End show. So get yourself along there. Uh, now I want to give you some rather amazing facts about this, uh, uh, the, the train and the show itself. The train is moved backwards and forwards um, and I think six times during the performance. Now this train has been doing this since November 2014, that's when the show began. I would add that the show began in York, in Yorkshire, at the National Railway Museum and that's where I began in 2009. I've made various trips to come back as Albert Perks, the porter. I don't know where the stage, uh, station master is. It seems that I do all the work around here, so I'm Perks, the porter there. Right, now, as you can see, I move around this station at great high speed, right? I was just chatting about the, uh, some of the uh, facts and figures about this. Now, the train itself, it makes six appearances uh, during the show. I'm not giving anything away here, but that means, obviously, it will be clocking up a certain amount of mileage. Wait for this. So far, since November 2014 and up to January 17, 2017, it would have travelled 99 and a half miles. Uh, and that's 208 uh, metres or yards per show uh, at the end of the whole run. That's the distance from, for these little shunts that it does over all our time, that's the distance between, let's say, London and Leicester. That's quite phenomenal. Um, this production features, uh, it was I showed you on the foot plate there, it's the locomotive 563 London and South Western Railway. So any of you railway buffs out there, get along to see this. The train is actually 16 and a half metres long. Now, I was in the dressing room asking some of the performers what they thought the length of it was, and everyone underguessed it. They all thought it was about maybe eight metres. Eight metres? That'd be a Hornby model set. So 16 metres. So she really is, I hope you don't mind me saying this, a bit of a le leviathan there. So, and four metres high. I don't know if you can see the, the carriages. It's quite deceiving. You tend to think of um, 
you tend to think of a tray being a bit like a sort of a compact tube. Well, actually, it's very, very high. And, well, judging by my stature, it's very, very high indeed. Um, and the permanent home of this locomotive, when it's done its days as an actress, uh, will be at the Shildon Locomotive Museum. Now, there's some more facts about the show. Right, uh, the lighting cues. Now, any complex show, and this is quite complicated, uh, there'll have been, in all of its run, a quarter of a million lighting cues. That's 340 per show. That's quite a lot. The petticoats that have been waved, if you know the story of Railway Children, that the, uh, the, the two girls there, the three children, they can use their red petticoats as warning flags. They will have been waved 2,313 times and no bloomers yet. Now there's an adult cast of 16, <laughs> you say adult, we're like kids ourselves, and 40 children, are all from stage schools, they're starring in the roles uh, of the ensemble, it's called, so they're playing mostly the, the villagers who are in Oakworth. Uh, this platform is a total of 34 meters in length, so we were trying to work out how many times the actors playing the children, and myself, I do quite a few dashes along this platform. It's 34 meters long. So you're clocking up uh, quite a marathon with it just a case of like maybe in a fortnight. There are 75 suitcases and trunks used in the performance. And uh, there's one special effect with the trunks and suitcases. You'll have to come and see the show to see what that actually is. Uh, but most of the time they're used as uh, hand luggage. Uh, as I said, the train is moved six times during the show and there are 170 props used in the performance. And I suspect some of them are actors. Thank you. And any questions?